Well, we got three quarters inch last night, and it looks like it might uh, have some isolated thunderstorms today. It's gray, uh, graying up a little bit. These are cloches, and on uh, things like beans, the bean will come out of the ground like that, and the seed heads under the soil, and the seeds under the soil, but that part right there looks like a worm. And sometimes you come out there and you see the whole thing laying on the ground. Well, a robin or something thought it was a worm, pulled it out the ground, and realized it wasn't. Well, they can do it a lot because they're not the smartest little creatures in the world. And so the French invented cloches. They made them out of ceramics, all different kinds of things over the years until wire was invented. And they were round and put over individual plants at the beginning. And all you have to do is uh, take some of this three or uh, three eight cent square uh, wire cloth, uh, we used to call it concrete wire cloth, but it's a little lighter weight than that, and you put it down, now these are four foot and these are three foot, uh, four foot is easier to work with and takes less of them to cover a row, and uh, I put a three foot on the end because I, I could overlap it, but uh, I already had to overlap it some, and I have them in both sizes. Now I'll show you what they look like on a table. Well, here's a piece of wire. And they stack like this. You can stack them like that, but the little wires where you cut them off will uh, stick the others and sometimes be a bit of a pain. But you bend them a little more than 90 degrees and then you set them in the ground. And the reason I don't cut those little wire things off is they've gotten bent over years, but uh, they stick into the ground to help hold it in place. And it's 3 8 probably 3 8 cloth. And I think these are 18 inches wide, and then you bend them. Uh, I didn't measure them, but I believe they're 18, and you bend them in the middle. And uh, they last indefinitely. You only have to buy them and make them once. And you can have about 10 or 12 of these stacked on top of each other. And then you can set them on a bench, a table. We keep them in there. I'll show you a stack of them. It might be dark. It is dark, but that's a stack of them, and I just had them sticking up in there. This whole thing is going to be cleaned out and thrown away, and we're going to build a new uh, garden shed. And on the end of the cloches, of course, it'll be open, so you have a two coming in holding the wire in place, and then you stick up a little picket fence across there. Now, they might then think it was a trap to go inside of that, but a small rabbit might just go on in there and eat, the, eat them. So just put a few across there so a rabbit can't get through and that'll keep them out of the ends.